Um, so first things first, we really need a way to create bots and a place to put them. So um, bots are really easy. Um, do, 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 do. At least I think they are. Um, so construction bots and logistics bots. So logistics bots are advanced circuits and flying robot frames. Construction bots are electronic circuits and flying robot frames. Uh, we're going to put these into... Okay, so I need to move you up. Ah, we can just put them by, side by side. Should be fine. Going to output them. Let's put a power pole between them. Good old replanning everything. Uh, let's get some more research going. Just continue everything that isn't yellow. There we go. Uh, power pole there. Gonna put down a couple steel boxes. So the, the way we're gonna do this all right, so flying robot frames, uh, split off here is we are going to like <clears throat> we're going to have the factory automatically build as many robots as we need, and the way we're going to do that is by having inserters that are looking at. Um, no, that should be fine. Inserters that are looking at the number of bots that are in the thing. So we need a red wire. Well, we need to restrict these down to like to each. We don't want to have too many bots. So I want to be able to have some bots because they take a while to build. Namely, since uh, flying robot frames take a while to build. Um, like the bots themselves are built almost instantaneously, but getting enough robot frames can be a problem. At least in my factories. So we're gonna re grab our red wire here. You get that on my hotbar. Click on our robot port and then click on our two uh, inserters. So we don't we logistics network contents tells you what's in the network. We don't care for this one. What we care about is the robot statistics. So um we we're, we're looking at available logistics bots X and available construction bots Z. So we want to uh, X and Z. So the signals line on the far right here. Um, Z is, log is logistics, right? No, it's um, construction. We want construction on this one. So right click, left click. So and you are X. So right now, will if there are no. If there are less than no construction bots and logistics bots, we'll insert some. That's not what we want. We want there to always be available construction bots means that they're idly sitting in a factory. Um, and available uh, construction bots, same way. If they're if they're idly sitting in a RoboPort not doing anything, that's when they're available. So we want there to always be, say construction bot Z. So we want those there to always be 50 or more construction bots. And then we want there to always be 100 or more logistics bots. And what this does for you is as your base grows, you don't have to manually go and fill in more bots in the network because it will automatically fill in as the network needs more. It'll take it a minute for it to actually, you know, grow up to full size, but that's okay. We don't mind. Uh, that is for green circuits. Do, 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 do. And then, do, do. There we go. Reverse, reverse. Um there so there and was what well, well, one too high but whatever so now green circuits flow into here 
and start building us construction bots. Construction bots are great at this point of the game because construction bots let us auto build blueprints and it's amazing. So you see our construction bots being put in. And once we have 50 construction bots just sitting idly in this report, they will stop building. Should really be passive providers. So the reason I'm putting steel chests everywhere is because steel chests turn into passive provider chests. So passive providers uh, are, are what make things available to the network. Storage chests are where bots put things if they don't have anywhere else to put them. Um, let's go ahead and build one of those. We'll put one of these over here for now. It'll be fine. See, so you see it's continuing to build up, but it'll build until we have, I think it's 100. Because I think they stacked 50. They do. So 100 of those. All right. So same way here. That right there. And red circuits. Because these are all on our bus already, we can just do this. Do this. And what will happen now... I have already preloaded some stuff into my logistics trash slots that I don't want anymore. What will happen now is those logistics trash, those bots will take stuff from my logistics trash slots and they will put it into yellow storage boxes. And my inventory is no longer full of stuff, stuff that I don't want. And the bots will then go recharge at their base and they will um, be fine. Alright. So now we're going to do personal bots. So crafting, we're going to need some sort of power armor. Um, uh, we don't have blue circuits, so we're going to make ourselves some modular armor. We'll get blue circuits soon. Modular armor will work, though. We're going to build ourselves a personal report. See, this is just enough to keep us going. And some personal... Solar panels. So power armor is if you go under your character tab and you look here, you can open up your modular armor. Um, we're going to grab ourselves probably 25 of these. I like putting them in a specific spot in my inventory. Just so because I, I want them to be removed from my inventory last. Oh, I don't know why I'm... Let's grab, just grab green circuits. All right. Crafting. There we go. So you have to have some sort of power source in order for the um, robot port to do anything. Um, it currently it currently has no power. But if we start putting in solar panels. It will slowly charge up. Very slowly charge up. I need more what? Steel. Uh, because of course I do. Uh, belt immunity. So belt immunity is really nice. So we grab more green circuits. Uh, right click. You can also right click on your power armor down there, and it'll also do it. Get three solar panels now. There we go. So belt immunity, what a belt immunity does is, so right now I am moved by belts. If you stand on a belt, it is moving you. If you put belt immunity in your backpack, and it has power, so it has 100 kilowatts. These these produce how much? 30 kilowatts, so we got 90. We don't even have enough quite power quite yet. 
Uh, it's slowly charging up the personal report. It takes a lot, but since we have power sufficient, we are no longer moving my belts, which is amazing. All right. And now what we can do, since we are slowly charging our personal report, so we can go down to where, so I probably should have pre-crafted all this, but eh, you guys can watch it happen. So uh, one of the things about this is we, we don't have any power at night, so we want to build batteries as well. Um, personal battery mark two, we don't have blue circuits for that, but we can grab more steel. Uh, we'll, we'll do that in a minute. Generally, you want to have one or two batteries in your backpack, enough power to power everything at the idle state, and more power than that if you're doing things like construction. Uh, we'll, we'll cover more advanced power sources later. But for now, what we can do, if we open up the map, we go to the logistics network. You see we have a very small logistics network around a person. We have a bigger logistics network over there. The orange square on logistics on this is for the logistic bots, the ones who move things from box to box or from person to box or from box to person. Um, that is where they go. And the green box is where the constructors do their work. All right. Go ahead and drop those in there. So this has actually got enough power to do something. Not necessarily very much, but now I have a whole bunch of steam engines in my inventory. And you'll see the construction bots hop out of my inventory and start placing things down auto-magically. So what this does is it lets me build by blueprint now. Which is a whole lot more convenient than the other option, which is hand building everything. Uh, construction takes an incredible amount of electricity, um, especially once the bots start getting fast. Um, of course, now we are out of power, so we basically have to build this by hand, but... That is how you use your personal roll report. Um, we got four more solar panels, so it's night, so we can't do anything about the lack of power in our bots. Um, but I think that will that is gets covering bots and charging and 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 how to get bots built. So I think that will be it for this episode. Thank you everybody for watching. Bye.